Yeah, guys, this is the bitch I be talking about. Look at that shit. 41 mutual friends. All right, now, let me explain what the fuck is going on. This is the real Andre Lee. I'm here, I'm back. Um, I'm going to do a Facebook video, Facebook vlog. It's what I'm going to call it, number, um, what is this, five or ten. Make a long story short, um, a lot of you niggas don't really know me like that. All you do is see me post on Facebook, and y'all just see me through the internet. So, um... That's not a good, really, way to um, present myself um, because I'm on a lot of different sites out there. But I always notice the crazy people be on Facebook. Um, I don't even have that pro problems on Twitter, nothing. I'm, I'm not like tagged either. That's a whack site with fake people too. But Facebook is where all the fake people be at. There's a lot of them fake on there. So um, let me explain something why I post about this bitch and what's really going on in my history because people don't understand. They think I'm just trying to dog out some bitch or something. Um, I've known this girl, Michelle Snipes or Shelly, what is it, VW Bug or whatever the fuck this bitch is calling her name now. Known the motherfucker for um, since the 90s. She used to date my homeboy, one of my best friends back in high school named James. Um, we met her at a, um, what was that, skating ring or something back in the day? A Red Wing up a Decker, South Carolina, make a long story short, man. Um, I'm going to tell y'all how I know about her and um, the history so that way y'all understand why I post that shit. And um, if you don't want to hear it, cut the video off now. Escape. Bye. Okay, niggas who really are curious and want to know, listen up. Um, back in the 90s, late 90s, when I was with my baby mama and uh, he was with her, um, we used to hang out at my friend Clayton's house. She ended up cheating on him with two of my other homeboys um, in this one room. And um, he ended up breaking up with her. But when they broke up, you know, she's had boyfriends all through... Um, you know, years and years, and I just seen her around, you know, and shit like that. And um, I think like years go by, and I ain't seen nothing, even seen her around town or nothing. And um, she finds me on Facebook. I think I'm looking for him, cause that was the only mutual friend we had at the time. Uh, she was trying to probably be his friend. She seen me, she clicked on me. Uh, she was dating some bald dude, um, which she's still probably fucking with now. I don't care. Um, make a long story short. Um, since then till now, she's. Um, but trying to hang out with me, try to make, I guess, make bygones be bygones, because um, what I forgot to tell you was we had an argument back in the day in front of rafters and five points, and um, I stopped talking to her, just something happened. Um, I called her a drug hoe or something, I think she was, like, trying to fuck with some, like, my homeboys and do whatever, make a long story short. I stopped fucking with her, I didn't talk to her, I didn't stop trying to be a friend, stop trying to be nice to people, you know, and this isn't about slandering nobody. I give credit where credit's due, and if you're a fuck, mother fuck nigga or a lame motherfucker, then I, I call it how it is, I just... Give, I just tell it how it is. I expose people for either doing really good things or really fucked up shit. That's just what I do. But um, from my Facebook friends, yeah, I've known her since the 90s, man. She ran back into me um, years later trying to make bygones, bygones on Facebook. Like I said, she was dating this bald dude. And um, she was trying to um, cheat on um, him with me. You know what I'm saying? Messing around with me and shit. And um, throw my names and all types of shit. Talk about how my bag go on my friends list. Um, trying to get all my homeboys and shit. And people that she knows do drugs and try to be their friend and you know talk shit behind my back whenever I confront her it's a problem or you know you know how females are but um yeah that's why you know there's a lot of history behind this that y'all don't know I'm not just trying to dog somebody out or just be fucked up I just think it's kind of funny that after all the posts and all the shit I've done that she's still even trying to talk to me you know like that shit tripped me out and, and um that's why I posted that today I'm just trying to let people know um she's never been my girlfriend never give a fuck about the bitch you know what I'm saying um but the bitch is just fake as shit, man, you know, fake as, I've never made, met somebody who's just fake. I've known a lot of fake people in my life, but the bitch is fake. Like I said, uh, my only friend we had in common was uh, my friend uh, James, the guy that, she, that he married her later on and all that shit. And, um, yeah, that's not like I'm trying to slander somebody, I'm just keeping it real, man, you know. Um, I, don't, um, I don't respect that kind of shit, man, you know. And that's why I talk up about it, because I'm not going to let somebody dog me out and talk shit behind my back, because that's what she does. She goes behind my back, she like she likes white guys with brown hair, so she took every white guy that she could find on my Facebook with brown hair, started hanging out with them, either copping drugs to them and talking shit about me. So I'm not going to let some bitch, guy, or anybody try to slander my name, I'm going to come back, and I'm not going to hit a bitch, I'm just going to dog them out my own way. And the harmless way to do it is Facebook, you know, because nobody gets hurt, unless they want to take it farther, if you could do that. But make a long story short, man, um, I, I don't believe in hitting females, nothing like that. If I call somebody out, it's because they deserved it. If I call you a bitch, it's because you fucking deserved it. You know what I'm saying? If I call you lame, because you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? A lame dude, in my opinion, is a guy who goes to work, comes home, and um, gives his wife all the money, 
And um, he's basically a sucker. You know, the average um, female out here thinks that a man is a big sucker. This dude's at work working his heart out to try to help y'all out. And you're sitting back trying to fuck his friends and, you know what I'm saying, taking his money and doing fucked up shit with it. You know, only a sucker would go through that. Only a lame nigga would go through that. You know what I'm saying? You got these bitches out here talking about, nah, before I fuck this guy, he got to take me to eat and go do this and that. I ain't got to do that. A lame nigga got to do that. But I ain't got to entertain all that. If the bitch's pussy ain't good, then she ain't going nowhere. I've seen too many guys play themselves looking out for these bitches. And then when they finally do fuck with the bitch, the bitch is all loose. The bitch ain't worth it. And a month later, he ain't even with the bitch. And he didn't went out there and spent all that money and made himself look like a dumbass sucker. And I'm not with that shit. I'm not a fucking sucker. I ain't no fucking lame. You know, um, I've had a lot of homeboys try to uh, get with this bitch. And I told him, go ahead. You know, I don't want her. Never, she never, never dated her. Never married her. Never, I don't do that. You know, but I'm not gonna let some fake bitch try to dog me out. You know, what I'm saying try to play me. You know, what I'm saying, and um, just a lot of fake shit, man. I, like, you know, what I'm saying she called me today, or I, I talked to her today, and she's all like, um, no, um, I don't fuck with your homeboys. We well, got 41 mutual friends. You didn't have that many when you first was on Facebook. It was just you and the ball guy. What's up with that? What's up with all my homeboys and, and friends and even females coming back behind me telling me all the shit you're saying? I would rather give them credit than you because you've lied to me a trillion times. These are people that don't lie. These are people that are straight up with me and they have no reason to lie and be fake. They're just telling how it is. And the shit that they're telling me is real. Like uh, my homegirl, Samantha, told me. She was like, yeah, she's making it sound like you were um, dating her and you don't give her credit or nothing like that. Nah, no, no. My other homegirl, Courtney, told me that she was saying she's my girlfriend just to get um drugs off her and shit and none of that shit's real so like you know like i said facebook is where all the fuck people lame to be at man you know um people be trying to talk about me like all these fake dudes and they don't even mention my name throw my name in there put an address on it south carolina andre lee i'm in woodfield everybody in woodfield knows me i'm the neighborhood dj you know what I'm saying if i say something i can back it up you know i don't appreciate people making fake rumors and trying to be all corny because um you know, when I talk shit, there's a reason behind it. And if you talk shit, there should be a reason behind it, too. Anyways, man, I'm sorry to bore you guys. Um, you know, it's not even about that, you know. I just want to let my Facebook fans get a heads up and let people know what the fuck is really going on out here, you know. And that's it. I just expose fucked up people. Sorry.